It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Jacksonville Jaguars. All that and more coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Sunshine State in TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Brandon Gaunt and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Kicker Brandon Aubrey is out to get this one started. And off we go from Jacksonville. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. They're led by the number one overall pick in the 2021 draft, Trevor Lawrence. The word is potential, potential, potential. Think about this guy from the time he was in high school, one of the top prospects going to college, coming out of college, mentioned as a generational type quarterback. He looks the part. Tall, big arm, surveys the field, and can take off and run when under duress. Lawrence looking to pass on the first play. They'll get this one complete to Zay Jones. And they work this well up field across the 45. 23 yards, the final tally. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. They'll throw this out wide and complete it to Ridley. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. That one good for a gain of 13 for Jacksonville in a first down. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So that as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football, all right? You're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they play this at off time now, too. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. Well, only three plays in here, but really, Charles, a solid start for this offense. And now we'll see if they can continue their mission to end this drive in six. And I wonder if their play call right now is reflecting on that last big play that they've had on this drive. Do you come back with something similar, or do you have a counter to it? to kind of show it and go to something else and create another big play. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. I think the reason this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already. So he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's at a full run by the time. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Travis Etienne punching it in from a yard away. And the Jaguars get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. 
and that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Extra point from McManus is good, and that makes the score 7-0. offense to go to work. Prescott, of course, the former fourth-round pick in 2016 out of Mississippi State. It's been a lot of fun watching him advance in his career. Many people question his ability to throw the football coming out of Mississippi State. He's conclusively answered that question. In addition, a very strong runner and an even better leader. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and ten at their own 21. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And they'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Second down, Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And they showed a little athletic juke, but then the daylight quickly closed. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Second down, Pollard again. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Prescott now. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. First down, Prescott. Going right back to Ferguson. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Here's Prescott. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. They'll throw again. Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. 
Jake Ferguson from eight yards out. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from drawing level. Sometimes those tight ends are a mismatch. They found the mismatch there. And that's exactly why you want to draw up those types of plays because coverage is just going to go to the natural guys, the guys that make the big plays on the outside. But if you work your tight end into it, that's a tough one for a defense to handle. Tough. They couldn't handle it. It worked out for six. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On first down, Lawrence. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And he'll be brought down with the first down after a gain of about 11 as that takes us to the two-minute warning. From midfield now, Lawrence. Caught on the right side by Jones. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 12 more yards there and another first down. Well, they obviously read man coverage there, partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what do you think, mean by that? For yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. Meanwhile, Lawrence's throw here taken in by Ingram. Will go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. This second and four. It's a throw again as Lawrence. And he will find Ridley. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 20-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Now Lawrence on first down. Steps away to his left. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down. But give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. Here's Lawrence to throw. 
Stephon Ridley on the left side. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. From the shotgun, Lawrence got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Zay Jones, a five-yard touchdown. And the Jags will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. And yeah, we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs, and I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds. That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So take away the touchdown there as that's going to be ruled an incomplete pass. A line of scrimmage once again the five as they get ready for second and goal. Here's Lawrence. To the goal line but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Lawrence going to throw again. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. The kick by McManus is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they set up for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they're going to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Tackle made by Devin Lloyd, the linebacker. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando, that's where we check in with a coach at our EA Sports Halftime this Report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. Okay, coach. One of the top yeah, performers in that first half was the running back Travis Etienne. He wound up been a the end zone on a touchdown so run far. to help give his guys the advantage here at the break.
Now McManus on to kick this one off. Kevontae Turpin now to return. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. You always worry about those smaller receivers running through that gnarly patch of land in the middle of the field, but he did a really nice job there holding on to the football and protecting himself as best he could while completing the play. A first down throw for Prescott. Over the middle, held in by Lamb. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Prescott now on second down. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. And the Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Finally held down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop it. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. They kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Here's Brian Anger now. As he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Here comes the Jags offense now. Time for their first possession of half number two. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. series and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage no big surprise Micah Parsons doing what he does so well dropping him for a loss this defense is just flat getting after it they have not given up much of anything in the run game case in point right there first play of the drive goes the wrong way here's second and 12 now they'll try and set up the quarterback draw here and again, the run defense out this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. On third down, here's ETN. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. Four yards on the pickup there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. 
Here's Logan Cook now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. That's taken on the 25. 21 yards. Well done on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Jacksonville. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Another incompletion with that one. He's just 7 of 14 throwing the football. 50% typically not going to get it done, is it? And let's just make it simple. And that's exactly why they trail. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Prescott. Complete. It's Lamb. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short. So it'll be third and less than a yard. Here's Prescott. Cooks on a quick slant. No gain on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. And this one is right down Broadway. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Jacksonville back on offense and ready to take over. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He'll connect on the out route with Ingram. So the completion good for seven there. And it's second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred the defense. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. And they're facing a big third down now in this tie ball game. They'll run with ETN. 
And this will be a Jaguars first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. I think that's a lot of shoulders just dropped there. And what I mean by that is they thought they were going to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Lawrence, now this is ETN on the draw. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. Short gain, short gain, last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely, this defense are saying go right ahead with those. Here's second down. Throwing now, Lawrence. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. A big play needed, no doubt. Third and long. Straight ahead, ETN. Oh, nice move. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. That's exactly what they were looking for. If they get another game like that, they'll be right there in field goal range. And the tension building. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. Stay tough, boys. Stay tough. What's the deal, y'all? I know you hype. Another toad for ETN. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. They'll come up now, second and nine. Back to throw, Lawrence. Crossing route and he hits his man, it's Jones. All right, they picked up yardage, but they've got to get up to the line of scrimmage and spike it. They've got one timeout left, want to save it. Here's first down. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. Final whistle blows, and we need some extra time here to decide who will be the victor. 60 minutes, just not enough some days to decide who's going to win the game. So the Jaguars going to get possession of the football first here in this overtime session as the kick is away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Now comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at the 20. They'll look to ETN to start things out. 
And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line. Second and a yard. A shotgun snap and a give to ETN. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was. And now it's third down. First throw of overtime for Trevor Lawrence. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's a give to Bigsby. Well, I'm not quite sure how he got away from that first tackler, but he won't even be able to get it back to the line of scrimmage there as the defense rallies behind him. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Now Lawrence to throw. Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. A little dinking and dunking that they're doing. And at some point, is it appropriate to maybe take a shot? It is, if you feel good about it. But otherwise, you do what a coach told me a long time ago. Take what they give you, but make them tackle. In other words, get into one of your guys in space. If he makes someone miss, that could turn into the big play you're looking for. On third down, Lawrence. And he is caught. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 39. A good start for him under center here in overtime now, 3 of 3. And this is where you have to know where you have to play quarterback. You've got a confident thrower right now. Someone who's taking care of the ball, but not being timid as well, and is moving the team downfield. That opens up your playbook and allows you to dial up some big shots if you want them. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Back to the ground with ETN. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because, really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. On second down, Lawrence. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Chauncey Golston. Coming right up the gut. Gets in there for a loss of nine. And another long drive from the offense, but the defense is denying them the end zone. Nothing to show for the last drive offensively. They can't come away empty-handed again. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Looking in zone for Jones. Oh, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. So they had the chance to get into field goal range, throw the interception, and now, barring something strange, this other offense being able to pull a rabbit out of their hat, this thing's going to end in the tie. Yeah, you're talking about are we throwing some type of uh, pass with, you know, eight laterals, and somehow they break free, or they throw a deep hook and lateral, or... One of those kind of things, a tip ball, any of that, you're exactly right. Barring those things, we could go home with this game even. And they're able to get this one across the 35. He's brought down at the 37-yard line. It's a gain of 17 yards. And the Cowboy first down. One overtime, how about two? We need another. We're still even. We'll switch sides and have that second overtime in just a moment. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Now what can Prescott do in the OT? 
Swinging this out for Pollard. And a six-yard game gets him right around the 43. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. On second down, it's Pollard. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line. He provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. Now Prescott. And this one quickly to land. And he will have a Cowboys first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're an OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. Here's a run on first down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. A second down throw for Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 25-yard line. Overtime with two minutes to play. We are in sudden death, but still all tied up. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there of finding him in stride for really good yardage. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Once that ball was popped in the air, you could almost hear the silence, the collective breath being held here in the stadium. Let's be honest about it. We both came out of our chairs, didn't we? All right, anytime you see the ball in the air like that, there is that collective rise, the crowd holding its breath, and boy, oh boy, the moment of truth as it comes down. Man, that was something. Everything magnified here in overtime. Prescott able to get down there at the end on the slide, and he has the first as well. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. To throw, Prescott. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Brent, I'd go ahead and kick it right now. I know it's only second down, but I kick it and give myself a little margin for error here. Don't wait for third, have the extra down just in case. If something goes wrong, miss, messed up snap, anything like that, you fall on it, guess what? It's third down. You still have the ball. You still have a chance to kick it. Here's Dak. That's Gallup on the slant. Well, right now, every little bit of yardage helps. So they're, they're obviously well within his range. It's just about keeping the football and getting in the right spot. Know your kicker. Get, as you mentioned, get it to the right spot, the place that he wants to kick it from. And if you do decide to throw the football, it either goes to your team or no one. It's the only kind of throw you make. Pollard. And he gets halfway there down to the one yard line. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. Now Prescott on fourth down. And this will be caught. It's a touchdown! An absolute stunned silence here as they have come in and stolen this one in overtime. Oh, 
So it's a win here for the Cowboys, and it was Dak Prescott, their quarterback, who really led the charge. Yeah, what struck me was how composed he was in the pocket. The numbers weren't spectacular. He had two touchdown passes, that's it. But he led his guys on some important drives when they needed it most, and they're going to come away with the victory. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we sign off from Jacksonville.